Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part two of the Getting to Know the HR and Practice Service Series. My name again is Jack Burns, and I'm the HR team leader at the APA HR and Practice Service. And while part one was about providing a general overview or snapshot of the HR and Practice Service, part two is going to give you a little bit more of a broader understanding of some of the specific areas and issues that we can provide advice and assistance to you on on the HR help desk. And we'll also have a look at some of the lesser known areas of our online resources portal that can also provide fantastic value and benefit to you. So let's get stuck into it. So first things first, when you contact our HR help desk, it's important to know some of the areas and issues that we can provide advice and assistance to you on. So let's just run through them. So advice around recruitment, when you're looking to bring someone new on, uh, paying conditions, including minimum rates of pay, uh, award interpretation, namely around the Health Professionals and Support Services Award, which is the main award in physiotherapy, uh, assistance with employment contracts. Um, so when you're bringing somebody new on board and you want to implement an employment contract, we can provide advice around that. Information about independent contractors. Now, this is a really big one. Uh, mainly, the advice we provide here is around the difference between employees and independent contractors. And this is absolutely crucial when you're looking to bring a new physiotherapist on board, for example, and you're not sure how to engage them. It's really important that you do get it right because the costs of incorrectly engaging somebody as an independent contractor can be quite significant. And we can provide advice to break down some of those key differences between employees and contractors so you can be confident that you are correctly engaging the worker that you are bringing on board. Moving on from that, so we can provide advice uh, around leave entitlements, so annual leave, long service leave, personal carers leave, which is sick leave, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Managing underperforming staff. Now, this is an unfortunate necessity sometimes in business that you will have staff that are not uh, performing to the required standard. And there is a process that needs to uh, that you need to go through to make sure you're not opening up any unnecessary legal risk. And we pro can provide advice um, throughout that process. Bullying and harassment, um, quite a serious, uh, quite a serious issue that's unfortunately also quite prevalent. Um, not specific to physiotherapy or anything like that, but just in Australian workplaces in general, bullying and harassment continues to be an issue. Um, and there is a process again that, need, that you need to go through should bullying or harassment occur in your practice, and we can provide assistance around that. Termination of employment. So if you do need to, um, you know, terminate someone's employment, whether it be due to underperformance or misconduct or redundancy, again there are processes that you. Need Need to go through and we can support you through that provide advice and assistance through that uh, employee well-being and much much more so that's not an exhaustive list uh, but these are some of the key areas and issues that we can provide uh, advice and assistance to you on uh, when contacting our hr help desk so now let's take a look at our online resources portal so in part one of this series, we notified you that we do have an online resources portal available through the APA website that's available 24 seven. And these are some of the commonly utilized uh, resources that we have available. So this includes employment contract templates, wage guides, namely from the Health Professionals and Support Services Award, uh, HR and work health and safety policies and procedures. So we have a comprehensive HR policies and procedures manual and a comprehensive work health and safety policies and procedures manual. Performance management documentation, warning letter templates, termination documentation, including termination letters, and much, much more. So there's some of the key commonly utilized resources that we have available to you through our online resources portal. But these are also some of the lesser known uh, areas of our online resources portal. So first things first, Essential Management TV. Now our Essential Management TV or EMTV program is all about assisting you or your practice manager to brush up on some of the key management skills that are required uh, when running a practice and when managing staff. Um, so obviously, you know, one element of being a physiotherapist employer is that you might be a fantastic physiotherapist, but there are also some other managerial duties that will come into it. Or for example, if you've hired a practice manager, obviously management is, a, is, is the key element of their role. And our Essential Management TV program or EMTV um, has been designed to assist you to brush up on some of those key management skills. So just continuing on, EMTV consists of 12 topics and within each topic, there are several learning videos and let's just quickly run through them. So first we have how to improve your communication skills, how to manage your time, how to make decisions, how to delegate successfully, how to motivate people, how to manage teams, how to uh, manage meetings, how to present successfully, how to negotiate successfully, how to plan successfully, how to manage crises and how to improve organizational effectiveness. So again, EMTV is all about uh, assisting you to brush up on some of those key management skills, you or your practice manager to brush up on some of those key management skills which are required when managing staff. 
Now, in addition to that, we also have some employee well-being resources as well. So if you have a look at our online resources portal on the homepage, where you've got recruitment tab, pay, starting work, et cetera, et cetera, we also have a dedicated well-being tab over on the right-hand side. Now, this provides some really, really useful information around creating a mentally healthy, uh, creating a mentally healthy workplace um, and stuff like that, which is a really, really important element of HR. Obviously, workplace relations and compliance is very important, but making sure that you're, uh, you're looking after your employee well-being side of things as well is also equally as important. So we have some dedicated employee well-being resources available through our online resources portal as well. Now, again, that's all we have time for today. And that concludes our getting to know the HR and practice service series. And um, we hope you took something out of it. If you have any issues or, or any questions about these videos, sorry, please get in contact with us. Or if you've got any inquiries or any uh, HR, work health and safety issues that you want advice or assistance on, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us using the details on the screen. Thanks so much for watching.